Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, also if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox, make sure you join the link, um, <laughs> click the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. Um, also guys, um, oh, and we will have a live stream. We gotta have a live stream this weekend, Lord have mercy. Um, and, um, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me on Instagram to see more of my babies, my past babies, all that great stuff. Um, I am here with baby Noah. You guys should be very familiar with Noah if you've been following my channel for a while. He is like the forever of the forever babies. <laughs> like, I am so working on building my long-term collection. Um, so Noah is the Willow Asleep. He is, um, the prototype number two by Claire Taylor Dolls. Um, and he has been with me a year. Can you believe that? I, I keep saying that. Like, I can't believe it. So I'm going to get him dressed into his little blue outfit. I thought that I had, I pulled socks out in the dark in my room out of the drawer and it was they're actually it's actually more of a greenish color so he doesn't have his socks and shoes so i didn't get it all together like i thought i had it together but oh well um i wish i had another pair of socks like the ones that nigel was wearing but we'll see i'll find him something else and i'll take some pictures of him on Instagram so yeah because he was like swaddled in his um his little bed sucking his tummy for the last day or so but yeah so I'm gonna get him get his diaper changed I love 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 my baby <laughs> The good thing about um, the willow sculpts is that um, is that they're a good size, like for dressing, but they're still um, newborn enough to be cuddled and baby. So that, that's my, my main thing that I love about them. Um, before, I think, I want to say before the Gabby Gales, before Serena, um, even after Serena, I think I was still thinking for full body, I still prefer the really tiny newborn. But once I got Bella it really changed my mind. I was like, oh man, I, I like the bigger babies. I was like, now I see why people like like the Romy Stratum babies and stuff like that because they were, you know, big babies and stuff like that. So I was like, um, man, I was like, I really like this size. But um, I still love my little babies. Now this is one of his outfits that he came with from Claire Teller. And this is Will Beth. Um, what Nigel had on was a gift from a friend, and that was not Will Beth. Um, someone thought it was Will Beth, but it wasn't. So I am gonna pop the tag on this. I believe this might be an actual Nigel's, but he's gonna wear it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I usually don't put the babies on a lot of the stuff. And, and let's just talk about that for a second. So you spend all this money on these dolls, right? The real expensive ones. And you get all this, you know, cute, fancy stuff in their box openings. And because you know that when you sell like a Claritella doll specifically, she's one of the few. There's not a whole lot of them out there that sends like specific stuff with every single baby it's the same um the same exact um 
outfit outfits that go on her babies like with all her you know prototypes they have the same outfits all the like if she do an addition they all have the same outfit same everything in the box is identical to the to the in the whole edition so when you sell the baby people want you to send every single thing that came in the box with the baby they will ask you do you have the originals if you don't have the originals it drops the price of the doll a lot of times um Sometimes people don't care and they're okay with it and you just don't have to drop your price depending on the baby and how sought after it is. Um, but a lot of the, the more older collectors, and when I say older meaning they've been collecting longer than others not by age, um, they don't want a baby unless they have the originals. Um, they don't want babies that's been modified. They don't want babies that's been, you know, fed cereal in their bottles they don't you know they want babies from other prestige collectors and they're very particular about the things that they have so a lot of the newer collectors don't really care or value the same stuff as much um so we we have all this stuff and we don't use it and for me, I'm a very practical person. I'm not the type of person that buy a, a furniture set and nobody can sit on it. I'm not the type that, you know, in my formal um, living space, you know, it's like, don't sit there, don't sit there. Now, when I had the white furniture, it was kind of like, okay, if you got on some dark blue jeans, baby, let's go to the family room, you know, type thing. But otherwise, no, we can sit right here. Um formal dining room yes you can eat right at that table because I believe that if you spend all that money it should be quality and you should be able to enjoy it I mean that's the whole point of buying quality right so that you can be able to enjoy it so I'm not saying over enjoy it but we tend to do that and I'm very guilty of that too of leaving everything in the box but over the last few years I've been trying to not do that and enjoy the cute little clothes. Oh, come on, Momo. That and stuff that the artist put their whole time and energy searching out this stuff specifically for those babies for them to wear. And then we don't, they don't get to wear it. I just, so I'm like, no, I'm not doing that no more. I, I paid all this money. I want to use the stuff and I want to see them in it. So that's. That's my new, my new thing. Um, and hopefully I don't sell them and it won't matter. So that's where I'm going with that. I have, um, he is so cute. So, and that's another quirky thing about me. A lot of people don't see Noah as much anymore. And I tend to do that with babies that, are more personal to me and I feel like that they're I mean it's like they're not private because you guys seen them before but they're kind of private they're like my personal faves and I try <laughs> and I just enjoy them off camera but I try to remember that you guys actually love them and want to see them too so I try to share them as well so that is my little Mumu. And now if I put his brother next to him, he's gonna look much bigger because he has on socks and shoes. Do you wanna even share your space and your time, your video time, Noah? Let me show you guys. See, he's gonna look much bigger because he has on, he has on the whole He has on shoes and white that's gonna white makes him look bigger and stuff so like you see what I'm saying don't he look a little bigger maybe maybe not but those are the boys together let's see <laughs> Nope, you cannot take up his his time. I don't I don't like you crowding his space. I don't like him crowding his space. 
You, just, you had your video. Alright. Most thankful. So yeah. Um, but yeah, this is this is what I love. I love that they can you can find all kinds of cute outfits because they wear they wear like a um zero to three month in some brands. Some brands they can wear three months, but a lot of stuff I still buy like newborn. Um when you shop in the places like um H and M and stuff like that, I can buy zero to one month or one to two month. One to two month does well on them as well. Um so it just all depends on what it is and what um, especially if it's feet out if you buy outfits feet out you can buy bigger size clothes feet in sometime you tend to want to buy the smaller stuff so it fit their feet good so that's that's that and anything that's onesie like always you can always go smaller but yeah him so too I turned him I love his little lips too I am just a big fan of this sculpt I really am like I could have like 10 of them I keep saying that um I really want um I really miss my having my Gabigail I I kind of wish I hadn't sold that because that was another in the silicone that was another uh one of my faves but there you go but I sold it so and yeah and i'm very particular about the addition of which ones i would want and which ones i wouldn't want let's see there we go i'm sucking his little two fingers if you guys can see see his coloring is so pretty but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to pop in and show you Noah since I showed you guys Nigel. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. I have um, lots of scopes here, and I'm sitting here trying to debate. I have one on my table. I won't say which one because it may change. But I have the Dwayne by Clairetel. I have a Gabby Gale by Clairetel. I have Lynn by Bonnie Brown. I have um, Mick by Audrey Stoetti. Mick Asleep. I have Mick Awake. I have um, Knox by Laura Lee Eagles. I have, um, oh my gosh, I have Susu by Natalie Blake. I have quite a bit of blank vinyl kits here that I'm looking at and I'm trying to decide which two I will start working on next. I do have one prepped to start and I think I will start that one today, but I don't know who I will add to it and it just depends on how I feel as I start painting if I will continue with full blown you know full speed with that one because sometimes i start painting and it's like if i'm not feeling it i move to something that that motivates me and i feel good about painting and then i paint that one and i only paint if i feel good so because i feel like that's when you get your best work is when you you're really feeling it so that is my thinking and I am going to um, get painted, finish painting. I finished Evie. Just like I said, I, I won't show her until she gets her hair. Um, but I did finish Evie by Laura Lee Eagles and I love her. I, mean, I hate when I love them so much that I want to keep them myself when my intentions were to sell. I hate that. I hate when I want to keep them myself. I really do. And that's one that I really want to keep myself. Um, because as you guys know, I have an Eevee in the Caucasian um, style. And my Eevee is an AA. So I was like, oh man, I can have to, you know, I love, you know, I love the diversity in my collection. But I don't know. She's supposed to be for sale. She get her hair back. Hopefully I can resist it. And she will go up for sale as well she'll probably go straight to ebay i'm not sure but anyway guys like i said i hope you guys have a great day stay safe stay in the house and um you know whatever <laughs> love peace and hair grease bye